gang. It's the last apple. <laughs> okay, so it's 11.30 on a Tuesday. I'm on my way to the neurologist right now, just to do some last check-ins about this challenge and my head and stuff. And then I have uh, a little bit of shopping to do and I'm back at the house to pack and take off for the trip. But uh, I just had this moment where I realized this is going to, going to be extremely difficult. And uh, I knew that coming into it. I've talked about it before. But uh, today, for example, was one of my last days tearing off of food. I've been spacing my meals out more and eating less and trying to just stick to fruits and vegetables. Uh, yesterday, I think I had my last piece of bread and uh, I noticed I was like really cranky before I had the bread, which was really interesting. But yeah, so I'm, I actually haven't eaten anything today so far. It's uh, 11.30. I'm currently drinking my first concoction drink. I went a little lighter on the salt today and added lemon and apple cider vinegar just for fun today because I can. Won't be able to add lemon to it in the future. But uh, so it tastes a lot better today is what I'm saying. And uh, after I get this in me, and see the neurologist. I'm gonna go get some fruit, maybe some apples and bananas or something, and uh, start gorging on that. But uh, that'll be pretty much all I eat today is fruit. So uh, the reasoning for that is I've slowly been uh, getting my body used to going longer without food, so it wasn't just so abrupt, one big last meal and then uh, have uh, a worse, be worse off for the first couple of days of this challenge. But Feeling good, feeling clear, and uh, ready to get my stuff done. Let's go see the neurologist. Eh. I'm just on my way out the door. Give me a hug. I'm heading to Guatemala. Ugh. Love you, buddy. Love you too. Take care. Um, I was looking to withdraw some foreign currency today. Sure. You guys um, what type of foreign currency? Um, hundred dollars American, and then I was also looking. I don't know if you guys carry. We only have American. Only American. Yeah. Okay. You could I'll, order um, any. I leave else? tomorrow. Oh, okay. okay. Um, we'll do two hundred American then. Okay. All right. So I'm on my way into the grocery store to buy my last supper for the week. Um, I'm actually on the road to the airport as we speak, but it's a couple hours out. So I'm gonna grab some fruit and that'll be it for the rest of this week, for the next 10 days. So I gotta pick like some fruit for the ride, some fruit for tonight, and then tomorrow morning it's straight to water. So looking forward to it. So look at that, things don't go as planned ever. So I was at Cash in the grocery store there with uh, my fruits and I was filming them go across the conveyor there. And uh, I planned on filming an interaction with the, the teller there and just basically get her take on uh, the fact that this is, these are the last fruits that I'm gonna eat uh, for the next like 10 days and just see, see her reaction and try and get a rift off. And as I was talking to her, she, uh, she asked me how I was, just normally what they do. And uh, I always say like fantastic or awesome or amazing or incredible, just something different to stand out. And uh, so I, I said fantastic. And the guy, there's, there was an older gentleman in front of me packing his groceries. <laughs> Gotta be different, right? Talking with banter back and forth with me. <laughs> but uh, he was kind of making fun of me in a way, but just like it was really lighthearted and great. We ended up walking out together and uh, had a conversation about my dreadlocks. And he actually he pointed out my bananas, and he's like, "There's a lot of sugar in those, eh?" And I was like, "Oh yeah." And uh, he's like, "Yeah, when you eat them when they're yellow like that, they have a lot more sugar. You gotta eat them when there's a little bit of green on them." 
And I've never, ever heard that before, but I thought it was hilarious. And uh, as I was walking away, he's like, you have a good day. And it's just genuine. And uh, yeah, it's, it's funny how things never go as planned. So I didn't get the, that scene that I, I wanted. I didn't get the reaction from the teller, but what I did end up getting was this whole genuine conversation afterwards that I probably should have filmed. I'm really bad at that, especially with the camera or uh, the phone that I'm using. I feel like it'd be actually a lot easier with a big camera rig because where else are you gonna point it and whatnot, but it's it's hard being discreet and also trying to figure out how things are in picture because as soon as I turn it, I can't see what's displayed on the screen. But anyways, quick rundown on what I got. I got two bananas, go to. Um, the peaches were not ready, they were way too hard, so I dug to the bottom and found the softest, squishiest, oldest looking nectarine I could find, so hopefully there's some juice to that. Looking forward to it. Um, I got my berries. There was a guy stocking the berries. Excuse me, brother, can I bother you for a second? Yep. Um, kind of a weird question. What's your favorite berry in one of these small packages? I'm just gonna... Favorite one? Yeah. Just off the cuff, you have to pick one. Definitely a toss up between black and raz, but I'll go with black. All right, thank you, brother. That's the one I'm going with today. Have a great one, thank you. Take care. But ultimately, the blackberries were the winner, so I'll be getting those into me. An avocado. The avocados have just not been good lately. I'm really looking forward to the end of this challenge and having some Guatemalan avocados. But I'm gonna have to pass on those healthy fats today. Oh, this one's pretty good. I'll eat that. And last but not least, the apple that I've been craving nonstop for like three days now, and I have no reason why. So that's gonna be a nice little treat. Don't know if I'll eat all this, but uh, I wanted to have it on hand, especially for later on tonight, because I think I'm gonna cut myself off at probably around midnight when I go to sleep or somewhere later at night, and it's only about four o'clock now. I'm not that hungry right now, but I could definitely see myself getting hungry in the next uh, six, seven, eight, eight hours. So there's a lot of time still to eat, but I do think I'm committing to this being my last meal in total. This will be the last food that I purchased today and eat. And uh, from here on out, it'll probably be water, but who knows, there might be a late night snack run uh, while I'm staying at my cousin's tonight. We'll see, but uh, I'm sticking to this for now and super pumped about it. Boom, <laughs> that is all. <laughs> yeah, I'm all ready to take off to Guatemala, man. But I realized like last Saturday, a couple days ago, that uh, just going off on a whim, not knowing anything about a country and like traveling doesn't challenge me anymore. Like I wasn't scared at all. So I'm not getting out of my comfort zone. And the whole point is just like push myself out of my comfort zone around my birthday, right? So this is the last piece of food that I'm eating for the next 10 days. What? <laughs> I'm doing a 10 day water fast while I'm in Guatemala. Yeah. It's gonna suck. I gotta really be careful with my head. And that's the only way I can see myself ending it early is if my concussion symptoms get really bad. Yeah. But other than that, did the doctor's visits and I should be good to go. But a group of my friends uh, did a seven day water fast like a week and a half ago. He, he did like a blast out on Facebook saying like who wants to do this and I saw it and instantly like my stomach dropped into my ass and I was like that sounds awful mm -hmm. and then a couple days later I was like I'm so scared of this I have to do it <laughs> but then I kept like making up excuses in my head like I'll do it someday like in this perfect scenario and then it just kind of hit me on Saturday I was like just do it but the odds are stacked against me I got the concussion I got I'm on antibiotics so I've spent the past like yeah. Everything's out of my gut. <laughs> what I was gonna say is it's gonna be really hard for you to hold on to those nutrients. When yeah. You're, like getting less than you usually are anyway. And exactly. Then... Playing it by ear, seeing how I feel, right? Yeah. And apparently, the first three days are the worst because that's like your. Uh, you're not used to it. Again, anytime, like even going into keto, like without carbs, your body goes through like carb withdrawal. It's a big, oh. it's the biggest thing for the first three days. It's like carb withdrawal flu. And you just like feel awful the first couple days, and then you can kind of coast through the rest of the week. But we'll see. We'll see how far I make it. Half my bag is like stuff for the fast, not clothes. Like <laughs> same bag I brought to Costa Rica. I have it like packed down pretty well. Like I know, 
I know the ins and outs. I packed 20 minutes before I left. And everything has its place. Passports in this pocket, medications in this pocket. Clothes get all bunched up and wrapped in hair scrunchies. They're good to go. Yeah, I was out for a walk and uh, apparently there was this old man, oh, pretty yeah. frail old man, and he uh, just kind of sat down, and folded his legs up, and died. Wow. Knew what the it end. Was. It's time to go. Yeah. Like in front of the <laughs> grocery store, basically. That's crazy. Yeah. So sat down, folded his legs up, and died. Died pretty hard. I don't know, maybe this is super racist and inconsiderate, but I feel like that's like a Mexican way to go. Uh, you don't go to the hospital and slowly die, it's just, oh, no, 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 Spanish got a little better. Nice. Better every time. I have zero Spanish. I should probably work on that at some point in my life. Not this trip. <laughs> Gang. The last apple. <laughs>